What's up guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a very cheap HVLP spray gun. Uh, the gun itself ran me $18 off of Amazon, I think it had 4.5 stars. So for that price and those reviews, I figured it's worth a shot. So a little bit about the gun, uh, the company that makes this is Campbell Hossfield. Um, it is a 1.4 fluid tipped gun and just first impressions on holding the gun, it kind of really gives me an Iwata feel. And I mean, just looking at the detail and how the gun is machined, it really feels like an Iwata. Um, like I said, it's a 1.4 tip. Generally, I spray 1.3 for base and clear, but this is the only option this gun came in, and for the price, I had to get it. Uh, you know, it feels light, but it's not too light. It, it, I mean, it feels quality, but it's not super bulky. I mean, honestly, I'm quite impressed with how it feels out of the box, and I really hope it sprays as well as it feels. All right, so I got the gun all cleaned out with wash thinner. I actually added a little thread tape to the air pressure regulator just to make sure there's no air leaks or anything like that. Uh, the only thing left to do is to really spray the gun in a real world situation. I'm gonna be spraying it in a cross draft booth, so it's not a down draft. There's gonna be a little bit of overspray left over in the air. I hope it doesn't get in the way of the footage, but other than that, I think it's time to go do it. This gun, so far, it feels good. I have no complaints of the build quality or anything first appearance wise, so I hope it lives up to the 4.5 stars and we can lay some glass with it. Very quickly, I just kind of wanted to touch base and say the products I'm going to be using for this test. I'm going to be using PPG Base Coat and Matrix MS-52 Universal Clear. Uh, they're good quality products. They're what we use every day in collision work. And I wanted to start off with these good products from the very get-go as to get kind of a mainstream test and uh, at the end of it to know whether the gun works well or does not. I don't want anything to be left up so at the end, you could say maybe the products we used weren't great, and if we would have used a more quality product, the gun would have performed a lot better. I wanted this to be a simple yes or no at the very end, either the gun works well or it does not. Without further ado, let's get right in there and spray. Now, I'm going to be testing this gun on the fly, and I haven't sprayed it before, so when I get in there, I'm going to kind of adjust the fan pattern and see if that 20 to 22 PSI will work, and if it does not, we may have to drop a little bit, or we may have to raise it above that 22 PSI mark. I'm not real sure, but... Hopefully we can get this gun dialed in and see if it'll lay down material well.
I showed one coat of base and one coat of clear, but I actually ended up putting three coats of base on and two coats of clear with a 10 minute flash time in between each coat. And I know I talked about spraying like 20, 22 PSI. It didn't work at all. I ended up spraying at 40 PSI for base and 45 PSI for clear. And I know that sounds like a ton of pressure, and it really is, but if we come take a look at the final product, I think you guys will be amazed. I definitely am. Now, this bumper looks incredible. There's nothing, it's, it shows no sign that it was sprayed by an $18 spray gun. I mean, everything flowed out well. There's very, very minimal orange peel. I mean, everything looks like a professional quality spray gun. I mean, I'm very impressed. Coming into this, I wasn't sure what to expect once I actually sprayed the gun. But it, it exceeded everything I had for it. And like I said, I am very, very impressed with the gun itself. And also it being under $20. Alright, so just a quick overview of the gun itself. This gun exceeded every expectation I could have had for it. And this video is no way promoted by the manufacturer of this gun. This is just my honest opinion on the gun itself. And yeah, like I said, the gun is a very quality gun. Is this the gun to end all guns? Definitely not. But if you are a hobbyist or just someone who does it in a garage, or maybe you have a fascination for auto body and you just want to get started, this is definitely a gun that you should keep in mind.